strange humanoid military encounters. We're about to detail that with you here live on JWTV show. We appreciate you for tuning in. But guess what? Before we get to this craziness that's going on, and it's just two of them we're going to talk about, you, you might not look at the concrete the same anymore after I tell you what they're about to put in the concrete which will change the aspect of what we know of. You just won't guess what that might be. Well, since we're talking about it here, they've literally came out with the report saying we want to put human bodily fluids inside of the concrete. Like this is this is where reality is at right now. This is the craziness that we're dealing with. And on top of that, it's another company, a concrete company that's turned metaverse, now promoting a hookup for human cloned organs. So we're now into the, the crazy Looney Tune dystopia land. And if they're going to do that, then maybe that's just a closer essence of them saying, well, we already have everything we need. We're just we just need the organs to clone you. Here's what the company says right here. In this virtual cell bank, our online users can freely apply for the deposit of their own cord blood and stem cells and conduct regular physical checkups, just like entering a real world bank. Whereas the deposits are no longer actual currencies, but a health guarantee and the accounts. So this is this is where it's at now. It's to the point now where they're like, "Whoa, well, yeah, we we just want to clone your organs," and it's a Texas-based company that's been doing the cloning and stuff like that. So, where do you think this really is all going when we talk about all this crazy stuff? So we want to get into these these crazy encounters that came along, and I was reading about, and it goes in is one in Illinois. But the next one coming after the one in Illinois is even crazier. So the one in Illinois is a a former member of the U.S. Navy wished to be referenced to only as Emma wrote the letter of Linda Godfrey about a bizarre experience she had while stationed in Illinois Naval Hospital Great Lakes. And so basically she had been assigned shore patrol and it says her husband in September, this was back in 1994, She and two others, her future husband, John, and mutual friend had been assigned to shore patrol. All three were around the base radioing back and forth when sometimes around 3 a.m., John did not respond to Emma. She walked back to his latest station location and found the young man standing and staring at the woods. Following his gaze, Emma saw a tall figure with an odd head. Later, she's seen depictions of exactly what we're talking about. And in these, in these depictions, she realized, she said, it looked just like the Egyptian god Anubis, the jackal head god of mummification and the afterlife. Emma claims that this is what the creature resembled. It had large green yellow eyes and long arms upon the approach of their third companion. The creature puffed up like a cat and bounded off into the night. And she said, the old myth that maybe gods truly never die. And so, again, this is a deity that pretty much was reported in the area of Illinois. And a lot of people obviously know about these deities. But then there was this flying humanoid that we want to talk about here next. And obviously, the military doesn't report on most of this stuff. It's the people have to get out. And then later, they start telling their own stories about this. So the flying woman of Day Nang was a couple of other first Marine Division in Vietnam when he and two others had a brush with the unexpected in the summer of 1969 near Day Nang. According to Morrison, all three men were sitting on the top of a bunker when they noticed a big, huge, glowing figure. <clears throat> approaching excuse me not only on foot rather this figure described by morrison as appearing like a woman had two giant bats wings which flapped almost soundlessly as she moved closer and closer and it goes in to say 
This was being described as a pure black with greenish radiant glow. She came close enough that the witness could make out fine details such as how her limber arms and the delicate skin of the bat wing going over them. The three stunned men just sat frozen as she flew closer and closer, finally moving right over the top of them and disappearing into the night. So the crazy part is, is that it's a, a bunch of people in Texas have reported seeing uh, flying humanoids. And you would ask the question, um, so why would researchers go into DNA and then merge humans with a bat? And that's exactly what they did here in this research uh, effort. DNA scientists create first human vampire bat hybrid. And so for thousands and thousands of years, these things have been here. Uh, ancient Mesopotamia, about 4,500 years ago, was already pretty much mixing DNA up and merging DNA. But it's a bigger reason why they do this with bats. And it says, Bravo, in a giant leap forward for mankind, DNA scientists have successfully spliced together human genes with those from a vampire or bat, creating an amazing new hybrid that some are calling the world's first real vampire. The tiny embryo, still only four weeks old. This was a while ago, so it's way more than four weeks old now. If allowed to come to full term, have physical traits of both homeo sapiens and whatever that word is, a species of vampire bat common in Mexico and South America. So why would they do that? And what was the deeper research that I found out? Well, I looked into it and it said bat DNA could be the secret to a long and healthy life. So obviously they always look into a life extension. And when they went into the study, the study which benefited from EU research grant from the project of Ageless looked at the telomeres of four different species of wild bats to determine what role, if any, they play in bat longevity among mammals. Bats are the longest lived species relative. And so they wanted to get into the deeper studies because with the whole bat concept that we got going on here, merging their DNA, and obviously you look at a lot of these top people who basically look weird and strange and we know they drink off the blood and do all this weird stuff, but they want to merge the DNA of bats with themselves as well. Uh, and that's because they believe in this life extension and they don't want to be in the same dimension and don't want to sit here and think that, Oh, well we, we, we're stuck now. We're trapped in this bad reality. Cause after they die, they don't have really good places to go. So obviously they would try to do something like that. Now, on the other channel, if you're just tuning in, I put out a video called Mysterious Wars. And this was more recent. Uh, what's going on? Creatures breaking through Earth. Now, if you look on the side of the screen here in the comment section, if you're live, I'm leaving a link to that video uh, in this video right now. So right there, you can catch that video. And then after it's over, after this video is over, you'll see the link to it over here right here where you better click that and if you don't see that you'll click below and you'll be able to see all that coming up thanks for tuning into this live report and if you didn't get rf shield and remember the link to that is in the description we appreciate your support we'll be having another video on jwtv so thanks for tuning into this live report we'll have more coming get it out there